everyone, my name is Titi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to continue our journey together and have a better life. In this video, I have brought three stories which forces you to think more about life. I hope you watch the video till the end and write me the results you got from these three stories in the comments. An old monk and a young monk, they were going to the monastery for worship on the way. These two monks reached a raging river that they had to cross. As they prepared to cross, they noticed a young and very beautiful girl who was trying to cross the river. As young girl who was in a difficult situation, she requested them to help her cross the river. The girl was unaware that in Buddhist rules, any contact with women's bodies is against the rules and the monks have sworn that for the rest of their lives, be subject to the law. The young monk was thinking and busy with his mind when suddenly he saw the old monk bend down without saying anything and put the girl on his back and carries it to the other side of the river. The young monk was amazed and watched this moment. Without saying a word, he followed them and followed the path of the river. The old monk on the other side of the river gently put the girl on the ground and then they continued on their way. The young monk could not believe what he saw. He didn't say anything. An hour passed without a word, another two hours passed, the young monk tried his best not to protest or ask questions, until finally he ran out of patience and protested and angrily faced the old monk and said, As monks, women are forbidden to us, how could you carry that woman on your shoulders? The old monk stared at him for a moment before answering. Then he said, I put her down on the other side of the river, but it seems you are still carrying her with you. We all carry the regrets and sorrows of the past with us throughout our lives, but as long as we cannot overcome the bad events of life, we will not reach an inner peace. Once upon a time, there was a cat in a temple. When the monks were meditating, it would disturb their concentration. Therefore, the great master ordered whenever it was time to meditate, someone should catch the cat and take it to the bottom of the garden and tie it to a tree. This procedure continued for years. Little by little, it became one of the principles of their work. Years later, the great master died. The cat also died. But the monks of that temple bought a cat and brought it to the temple to tie it to a tree during meditation, so that the principles of meditation could be fulfilled correctly and completely. Years later, another great teacher wrote a treatise on the importance of tying a cat. One day, a monk was speaking in a group of people who asked him, how can we forget the sad memories of the past? Wait a little, said the monk. I will answer later. The monk turned to the people and joked while talking, and the people started laughing. After a few minutes, he repeated the same joke again, and this time only a few people laughed. And after a while, he told them the same joke again. The third time, but no one laughed. This time, the monk said, Why didn't you like joke? Why don't you laugh? People said, You can't laugh at the same joke too many times. If you can laugh at a joke over and over again, replied the monk, How can you repeatedly remember an unfortunate event in the past? Be sad all the time. Everything became silent. Then the monk while for the people. He was explaining, just like we can laugh at the joke several times, similarly, by remembering past events, there is no reason to be sad again and again. Buddha says, happiness is the only thing that keeps you alive. I hope you like these three stories. What did you get? 
write me the results you got from these three stories in the comments don't forget to subscribe channel and like the video thank you for being with me take care all of your moments